Anthony Pellegrino on how to correct workplace errors. As a business owner, it is important to be aware of the various ways in which you can correct workplace errors. By taking corrective action, you can minimize the damage that these errors can cause and protect your business's reputation. In this blog post, Anthony Pellegrino discusses the steps that you should take when confronted with workplace errors. Anthony Pellegrino's Tips for Correcting Workplace Errors It's inevitable, at some point, every business owner will make a mistake in the workplace. Whether it's a small error or a major mishap, these mistakes can have serious repercussions for both the business and the employees. Fortunately, there are some steps that business owners can take to correct workplace errors and prevent them from happening again in the future. Here are six tips for business owners to correct workplace errors. 1. Acknowledge the mistake. According to Anthony Pellegrino, the first step to correcting a workplace mistake is to acknowledge that it occurred simply. This may seem like an obvious step, but it's important to do it nonetheless. By acknowledging the mistake, you're taking responsibility for it and showing your employees that you're willing to work to fix the problem. 2. Apologize for the mistake. Once you've acknowledged the mistake, it's time to apologize for it. This is another important step in the correction process, as it shows your employees that you're truly sorry for what happened. A sincere apology can go a long way toward diffusing any anger or frustration that your employees may be feeling. 3. Explain what went wrong. After you've acknowledged and apologized for the mistake, it's important to take some time to explain what went wrong. This will help your employees understand how the mistake was made and why it needs to be corrected. It's also a good opportunity to share any lessons that you've learned from the experience. 4. Develop a plan to prevent similar mistakes in the future. Once you've explained what went wrong, it's time to develop a plan to prevent similar mistakes from happening in the future. This may involve changes to your processes or procedures, additional training for your employees, or even new technology or equipment. Whatever the case may be, it's important to have a solid plan in place to avoid making the same mistake twice. 5. Implement the corrective measures immediately. Once you've developed a plan to prevent similar mistakes from happening in the future, it's important to implement those corrective measures immediately. This will show your employees that you're serious about fixing the problem and preventing it from happening again. It will also help to instill confidence in your employees that you're able to manage the workplace effectively. 6. Follow up with your employees. Finally, Anthony Pellegrino says it's important to follow up with your employees after you've corrected the workplace mistake. This follow-up can be in the form of a meeting, an email, or even just a casual conversation. During this follow-up, you should check in with your employees to see how they're doing and answer any questions they may have. Anthony Pellegrino's Concluding Thoughts By following these six steps by Anthony Pellegrino, you can effectively correct workplace errors and prevent them from happening again in the future. With a little bit of effort, you can create a safe and productive workplace for your employees. Thanks for watching.